Next Level Sound is home to the modern music producer. To learn more about Next Level Sound's online music production courses, please visit nextlevelsound.com. Enjoy. So this is something that I threw together this morning just to demonstrate this. And this is really just because of layering and what layering does to phase relationships. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our drums, which we have here, and we're going to throw on a pie and we're going to put it post fader. Can I use auto align for these drums and this bass line? Is that going to work? Probably not, right? There's too much things, too many things moving around. I'm going to go to Pi, and it will default like this. Here's all these groups, and you can make up to 64 groups, which is pretty crazy. I don't know when you do that, but you could, maybe orchestral work. So I'm going to go to group one, and they come up unnamed, but I'm going to name this drums and bass, right? So I, 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 I select group one and I name it drums and bass. The mode that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full range. It's a low frequency. I want this group of drums and bass to relate to themselves and the mix. And I'm going to go to the bass, unmute it, turn on pi. And I'm just going to get it, make sure that it's not like on some other group and that it's actually assigned to the proper group, drums and bass. And you'll notice whatever the settings for this group are, it will follow, and as well as the global settings. So now that's basically it. We're ready to Pi, and we will go here, and we will listen to our Pied drums and bass together. And I know some of this phase stuff is hard to hear with Zoom, but you'll, you, I promise you'll hear it as an accumulative thing. And hopefully some of you can already hear that it's fuller Pi with Pi on and it's a little hollow with it off. Okay, now here I have the, the drums and here I have the bass. Um, okay, good. That's all I want to hear. If Kevin can hear a difference, everyone should hear a difference. Um, interesting, interesting. Less wide. It, interesting. We'll talk about that. All right. So now, so now I have my balances. My balances are balanced if we look at my mixer and we can see that everything's kind of, you know, roughly just balanced the way it's balanced. So, so uh, if I wanted to use my channel weight, which one would you use it for? The drums or the bass? I think the drums. I agree. Not just because I was a drummer. So let's let's uh let's push that channel weight a little bit and start to hear the difference. So, so, so now I've sort of 
going halfway up my channel weight. Richer in the lows. Thank you. That's all I want to hear. Uh, now, watch what, listen what happens to the base when I push the channel weight to the maximum. got all wobbly. No bueno. It got all wobbly and fluttery and less body. Why is that? What's happening? What's happening when we, when we, when we jack the channel weight on the drums? Who, it, it, the, well, exactly. The bass is like, ah, I have to do everything. I have to phase shift every frequency all the time because no one is working, dancing with me. I have to do everything. And you can see that there's a sweet spot here, right? So just like we know in a lot of mixing and mastering things, more is not always better. It's the right sweet spot. And so you'll play with that and you'll use your ears. If you hear something wobbling in you, with your pie relationships, would you go and start to play with the channel weights right away? Yes. Right? This is how you minimize um, uh, some of the artifacts and get to the sweet spots for sure. Okay. All right. So now let's look at the metering for a second here. And this is where I have a couple of questions for Nier. And we'll pick this up on, on Tuesday. You can look at things in a variety of ways. Uh, um, okay. So each, each instance of pi gives you a unique color. So you can follow that in your meter. So if you look, this is on the uh, base here. So my unique color for the base is like this red orange thing. If I go to my drums, the unique color is blue. Can you see that? And if I go to another element and I turn this on, it's magenta or whatever that is. So, so each instance of pi gives you a color coded unique dot. Not each group, but each instance of pi. So if we click here with global, and let's say we have these just the bass and the drums playing, you, you see this. So do, does everyone remember the, um, uh, does it mean that no channel weight, no phase shifting, or just less? L less. The more channel weight you give it, the less it shifts, the more it forces everybody else to shift more. And you'll find the sweet spots, right? Set by humans. Now, does everyone remember from the metric AB videos from last year, that phase correlation meter? in metric AB, people remember that one? So, so this is showing us uh, phase correlation by frequency band. And for the grooves to be hearty and full, we want the low frequencies to be mostly phase correlated. So right now in this group, we have a drums and bass group. That's all we're listening to right now. And you will only see, and so what this is showing you is how the Base and this is the base pi instance, how it's relating to the drums or the whole mix. But right now, that's the only thing in the mix. So watch carefully. There's a little bit of a visual delay, but watch what happens on this multiband correlation meter when I go, when I turn pi on and off. First, it'll be happy all in the low end, all positive and up. And when I when I bypass it, you'll see it sag down and get sad. 
and you'll see the negative correlation. So I, it ain't like I'm lying. You can see it. Watch. This is cool. Does it help you hear the kick, the fullness of the kick increase when you see those meters go into the positive? Yes, it is dolphins grooving. But can you can you guys see the positive correlation that Pi is creating in the low frequency between these elements? Now you can see it clearly. Yes. Okay, good. Yay! Look at us. Okay. You can you can also look at the correlation in the group. Uh, you can see how just the this is relating to the group. You can see how this track is relating to the entire mix. And you can also see just the channel. And then you this puts it in frequency mode. Now, this is where I have a couple questions. To learn more about our online music production classes, please visit nextlevelsound.com. Home to the modern music producer.